Welcome back to another Tootsie Tuesday set of toes for the summer that matches this beautiful tropical set of nails. I love the way they turned out. Now, before we get on to our prayers and promises for women, I just want to tell you guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow. Shoot me any and all comments down below and definitely shoot me a thumbs up. If you could help me out by watching those ads, that truly helps my channel to grow. So I would appreciate it and thank you guys in advance. All right, let's read our prayers and promises for women and then we'll get on to this gorgeous set of toes in a tropical look. Today we are on what's called freedom. 2 Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The next one, Galatians 5.13. My brothers and sisters, you were chosen to be free, but don't use your freedom as an excuse to live under the power of sin. Instead, serve one another in love. That is a great one. John 8.36. So if the Son sets you free, you are truly free. And from his death, we were set free. Down below, Galatians 5.1. We have freedom now because Christ made us free. Stand strong, do not change, and go back into the slavery of law. Again, talking about the death of Jesus Christ, because of him, we have our freedom now. We have our, you know, the freedom of heaven. Freely, our gift to heaven, if we truly believe and live our life right, we have a gift. Eternal life in heaven. How wonderful is that? Um, the other side says, God, you set captives free. When I became ensnared, you offered a way out. Your redeemer grace, your redeeming grace opens the door to my jail cell, and you call me into the freedom of your love. Thank you for pulling me out of the darkness and being patient with me as I become accustomed to the light. And that's truly what happened when Jesus died on the cross. He pulled us from the darkness into the light. And if you want it, that gift is there. So, you know, definitely try to you know think about it you guys if i'm wrong i'm wrong but i'm not if i'm right you have so much to lose you guys you have so much to lose and come on look around this world who could have made this world but god and to send his son to die on a cross for us so that we could be set free have that free gift of eternal life take it you guys and embrace it because it could be too late jesus is returning and he's going to return you know like a thief in the night but we all know it's it's going to happen very very soon if you read the bible you'll learn that you'll learn that the seven keys to the bible you will learn that everything is coming to par and jesus is going to return soon and you got to be ready don't say i'll wait till tomorrow please don't get right today because it could be too late once jesus comes that's it but take that free gift of eternal life take it it's ours it's ours. God loved us so much. He gave us that free gift by sending his son to die. And Jesus took those sins on so willingly. He was such a perfect man, never sinned while he walked this earth, but he took on the sins and never complained once. All right, down below it says, how does it feel to be free from your sin? Boy, it sure feels good to know because I definitely, you know, live in a glass house as all of us do. None of us live sin free. Only Jesus Christ did. But it feels so good knowing that even though I commit sins and I try hard, you know, sometimes we willingly do sins too, knowing that they're wrong. But a lot of times it's, you know, the unknown or the, um, you know, you don't remember type of sin. Uh, we get angry and that's a sin and just things happen. But it feels so good that I am set free from my sins because of the blood of Jesus. And I can just simply ask for forgiveness if I truly am asking for forgiveness and truly want that forgiveness and I'm truly sorry I will be forgiven and know that I have eternal life so what a great gift what a great gift to feel free our freedom because maybe here on earth we don't have our freedom but we do have the freedom to heaven to be able to make it to heaven and have eternal life 
Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with our Lord and Savior who came here to save us and took on the sins of the world and died for us so that we could be forgiven if we believe. Definitely pick it up. Get a great, you know, get a you know, great relationship with him. He's your best friend. And spend time in this beautiful book that I'm calling a love story because I heard it and now I love that word. It's a love story. Read it. You're going to see how much God loves us. Read the Old Testament, the New Testament, the New Testament, you know, where it sets us free. And, you know, we could be forgiven in the Old Testament, but so many sacrifices we had to make. But now we can be set free by the blood of Jesus by a simple, I am sorry. Please forgive me and turn from our wicked ways and try to live a better life. So yeah, pick it up, you guys. You'll really enjoy it. And if you got your salvation today, because it's important to make it to heaven, you have to have your salvation, which, which means you have to read the Roman verses and uh, get your life right. And, you know, ask for that forgiveness, believe and receive. And it's yours, you guys, it's yours. And if it is, write it down. You know, you're heaven bound then, heaven bound. And like my pastor used to say to us, or says, continue to keep looking up because the view is so much better. All right, you guys, let's get on to this awesome tropical set of toes that matches this set of nails. And I love both of them. I hope you guys will enjoy the video and the uh, Barbie fashion to come tomorrow that matches both the nails and the toes. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's Tootsie Tuesday Toes for the Summer. A great tropical look matching this set of nails. If you'd like to see how I did this one, stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Tootsie Tuesday. Some more summer toes and it's going to match with this tropical set of nails I did for Manny Monday. We're going to use all the same supplies but I'll go over them and show you. So for the sheer pink background, I made this one. I've showed you guys this one many times. I just take the LA Colors base and top coat and I add in just different baby pinks and shake it up. I do about 20 drops of one color and then other colors I use less. So just mix it how you like it. I love making my own shears. Then for the uh, kind of burgundy red, I'm using this one here, the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. And this one is 555 and it's called Borodex, I believe, Glow. If I'm not saying that right, sorry. That one, got that from Walmart. And then I just topped everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And now we're getting ready to do the art. I'm going to be working with acrylic paints and some bright colors. So I'm gonna be doing a red. We've got a yellow here, kind of a sun yellow, a bright neon orange. We got some white that I mixed into those three colors to make them more opaque. And the black is for the palm trees and some um, accenting around the black underneath it to give it that nice kind of sunset, um, like an evening sunset. And those were just acrylic paints, uh, basically all from uh, Walmart and Dollar Tree. So here's the white and black. Those are from Dollar Tree. And the other ones I got from Walmart. And they are the Apple Barrel. And they were uh, 50 cents. So great price right there. So you got the sunny day the um, neon orange and the bright red. Those are the colors that I'm working with. And then um, I'm going to use Robin's brush, her wand. And I'm actually ordering a couple more now because this one's about two years old, but they are great brushes. RobinMosesNellArt.com. There's the end of it. I keep them kind of dirty in between and just clean them with 100% acetone. I did spray my um, acrylics down with some water. I just used a water bottle here and sprayed them down a little bit. And then I'm gonna run some glitter through like I did on here, just kind of through the palm trees and through the design. I'm gonna do this one here. It's called Wonderland. I got it from Jaden and it's from Dollar Tree. Absolutely love this one. It's almost like a Northern Lights, just a little bit thicker uh, glitters in it, but it's perfect. I love how it looks going across the design. Then when I'm all done, I will top it off again with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. All right, so we're going to get started. I'm going to start some of the art. I always leave, uh, you know, one of the toes open. I know this one here has a little bit of red in it. It kind of mixed when I was doing the top, the, you know, top coat. Um, it just kind of bled a little bit, but that's okay because the palm tree is going to go over that. So you won't even see it, so I don't even worry about uh, fixing it. I got a little bit on the toe here. I'll clean that up there, but it comes off when you, you know, get right into a bath. It'll come off. All right, so let me do some art, and I'll come back in and show you guys. Okay, so now you see I've got the palm tree on the big toe, 
and then I've got some lines going through and some of the art and I did do a tiny little palm tree as an accent one. We're gonna do that over here. So we're gonna draw in. We'll start with the big toe. We're gonna do the palm tree coming up this way. So I'm gonna get some black, just very little, set my brush down and just kind of come up, just kind of zigzagging the line like that. At the bottom, I'm going to just give it a, a bottom, you know, like the bottom of the palm tree. Just giving it a little bit of a line here. And then up at the top here, we're just gonna lightly just start doing the branches of the palm tree. Just lightly take your brush and, you know, just be lightly just coming into the tree or off the tree, but just do it lightly like that. And then we'll just do a couple up in here. And then very lightly what's left over on the brush, I just wanna put a couple little, uh, little branches in. It just gives it more, um, just more, you know, texture to it and more um, look of a palm tree. And then we're gonna do that on the, the uh, let's see, yeah, the second toe here. I'm gonna do it on that one like I did on the other one. So this one here, we're just gonna come off with some black here, down further for you guys. And I'm just gonna do it up at the top here. So I'm just gonna set the brush down and just do some black lines coming off like that. And then over here, we'll do the palm tree. Now that one I did that way, so this one I'll do this way. Again, we're just gonna do a really tiny one now because the toes are so tiny. Just come off like this, zigzagging the line up, give it a little bottom. So it just looks like it, you know, it's got the bottom to it. Then again, with that little bit that's left on your brush, just do your little bit of uh, the branches at the top of the palm tree. I'll get a little bit more paint, very little and just be doing your branches like that. And again, what's left, we're just gonna go through very lightly and give it a couple little branches, giving it that look of a palm tree. That's what just gives it just, you know, more look of it and it doesn't look like a sticker then. And then you see everything else we've got going through with just the lines like that. Now we wanna add in the bright colors. That's what's really gonna make this pop like on the nails. So I'm gonna get some of those done and I will come back in and show you guys. All right, so we have the first color and we go lightest to darkest and I've got the yellow running through. I've left a couple toes open here to show you and we're just doing these lines, just dipping into the yellow, very little paint and we're just gonna go anywhere we want through this design. So I'm just gonna have them coming off like this, this side like that. And then we're going to do a little bit over here up at the top. And again, just quickly just doing some lines that can go right through your, um, palm tree don't worry about that and then we're going to do a little bit down on this one right through the black here and again there's no rhyme or reason you're just doing lines and we're going to be building the colors up to give it that tropical sunset look all right we're going to go on to the next color all right I do apologize I thought I was filming when I did the big toe so I got both of them done but I did leave this one open it's basically going to be the exact same thing just running lines like again no no, like I said, no rhyme or reason. You're just dipping in and just getting a small amount of paint and just running right over the top now of just some lines just to add in that nice bright neon uh, color because these colors are all beautiful for a sunset look. And you know, I always do a set of toes to match an outfit. So, all right. So that's what it is. I'm sorry that one was quicker. I wanted to show you the big toe, but I thought I was recording and I wasn't. All right, now we're going to go to the next color, which is the red. Okay, now with this last color, the red, I just love how it builds up and gives us that night tropical look. It's so beautiful. It's like you need every one of those colors, you know, those three colors. And I'll just try and just so you can see how you can see the red through it now too. And it's just, boy, it just really gives it that tropical feel. All right, so we're gonna dip into the red now. And again, just running it through right over the colors. Don't worry if you go over and you think, well, I went over that one too much, nope. You can't do it. It just gives it that beautiful tropical look and you end up hitting every color. All right. Now, same thing with the red. Again, just use your brush and just do it quickly. Just go over like that. And then you're running the colors all through it. And it gives it, like I said, that beautiful, beautiful night tropical look. All right. Now we are done with all the colors. So the next step will be running the glitter through it. I am gonna let this dry enough and we're gonna run some glitter through it. I'll be right back. 
All right, so now we've got the beautiful glitter running through it and just the right amount so it's not too much covering the whole toe, but just running through to give it that beautiful night sky, give it a little bit of shimmer, sparkle. All right, so I left those two open. We've got some on the cap here. I pulled some out. We're just getting the small brush and I'm just gonna go through the design here. I'm um, just running through because it's glitter. Now it's not gonna cover anything up. So just running through to give it some glitter, running through right here. And if you don't have enough, just get your brush again, fill this up. And I wanna put a little bit down in here. And then we're gonna go through the palm tree and that I just kind of run up and run through it, just giving it a perfect amount of sparkle. See what I'm talking about? Hopefully you guys got to see that. And then this one, we're just gonna do the same thing, just running through these colors, just giving it a little bit of glisten. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Wow, what a beautiful set of toes. I love this tropical look. It is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, giving me that night feel, what it's like when the sun sets. All right, we're gonna let this dry up. We're gonna top it off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I'm gonna do two coats after everything is dry and I'll be back to show you guys the end product. Alrighty, you guys, I am all done with my tropical set of toes. And I am loving this set. Really giving me that night sunset tropical look with the shadows of the palm trees and then of course the perfect coloration with the orange the yellow and the red i just think it's perfect loving the toes and the nails and i just i love art i love how much fun you can have with art definitely try things out practice don't be afraid have fun with art because you'll be surprised you know what you can do and how beautiful the designs turn out and you know don't worry if something doesn't look good. You don't want it to look like a sticker. You definitely want it to look like art. So just have fun. And I love the way this set turned out. Can't wait for you guys to see the Wear It Wednesday Barbie fashion that matches these toes and these nails. I hope everybody is staying safe, happy, and healthy, and always leaning on the Lord. Everybody take care and God bless.